Beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekend reading for March 2023. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and Leo, this is your channel. So any reading on this channel can resonate to you, but please take what's yours, leave the rest behind, and do not force a reading to fit. If it's not yours this time around, it just may not be yours this time around. Let's get you a number to look for here from Spirit. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media. My ear is ringing. Ice place, billboard, social media. Yeah, that's what I usually say. Okay, sorry. The ear ring threw me off. Um, let's see what your number is. Number three. I am charismatic. Okay, Leo. Coming in very charming. This ringing is still here. Some of you, your ear will be ringing as well. Some of you born on the third. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. This card says expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. So, Leo, you're in a very persuasive energy right now. You can get anybody to do anything that you say at this moment. So, definitely turn the charm on. Um... I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you also may find that people are just like gravitating towards you. You may feel like you're like are magnetic at this moment, but I really like the charismatic energy. Let's see what else is supporting this for you for the weekend. Here for you, Leo, we have a sun in Sagittarius, card number nine, adventure, stride out into new territory. All right, Leo. So I do feel like you are definitely doing things differently. You may be actually even going on somewhat of an adventure in terms of doing something new. Um, and, you know, doing something new can be in all ways, shapes, or forms. Could be going to the gym. Maybe you've never gone to the gym. Maybe you're going to go on some daily walks. And that's new territory for you to be outside with nature. Maybe some of you are even moving, relocating, traveling. Some of you are even striding out into new territory within yourself. Sun and Sagittarius energy. Where are my astrology people at? What's going on? Is there anything in this, the, the stars with Sagittarius right now? Because your weekend, you got the sun and Sag. Pisces weekend got the moon and Sag. So, wow. Card number nine here. Strong energy here. Some of you born on the ninth. But there is definitely some, there it is, spotlight energy on you. I don't really, you know, it's not giving me spotlight energy, actually. It's giving me that gravitational energy. It's not like it's super overwhelming. It's almost like you're just like, wow. People are just telling me things. People are asking for my opinion. It's, it may feel just like you feel like you're a magnet, literally. So like a literal magnet. <laughs> Let's see what the unicorns are giving you here. Some of you have Sagittarius around you or in your chart. Let's see with the unicorn here. We have Archangel Michael. Use the sword of truth to help the world. All right. So you have a lot of people talking to you. There is an emphasis on a lot of people wanting to talk to you. Some of you, you are moving into a new way of communicating with people or communicating with somebody very specific, possibly even a Sagittarius. Um, it's giving me really lighthearted energy. So if you had a lot of like tense communication with somebody or if it was really difficult for you to communicate with somebody or maybe you and just this person just never were on the same page, you may find yourself magically in the same page of this person. You may find that your charm, your energy, your natural aura of warmth is just gravitating people to you and they're being different towards you. Some of you, you could just be meeting new people as well that are also very much in the vibe of Kind of what you want out of relationships, friendships, romantic, family energy. I really get you 
having better communication with somebody or better communication with people or there's just newer people that you just feel like they get you, you know? You don't feel like you have to explain yourself so much. They understand you. Um, some of you as well with this Archangel Michael, very strong protection energy as well as spirit is really indicating that the more you do express yourself, the more you are favored in that sense. But it's almost like a lighthearted expression. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what the astro codes are giving you. And then we're going to clarify this. So we have Chiron heal. Yeah. Okay. So some of you are having a very healing conversation with somebody, or it's just the way you and this person are converse, conversing with each other. It just feels a whole lot better. You feel more seen. You feel like you can be your goofy self. You know, you could be in a new friend group or just maybe there was just tension. It, it feels better. It feels like almost like a weight has been lifted or tension has been cleared. You know, like the air is being cleared sort of energy. So I feel like a lot of you are having a healing conversation with someone here or there is a very strong emphasis on the way that people communicate to you. It's just feeling a whole lot better as well as possibly there's new energies around you or there will be new energies around you. And I'm telling you, you just feel like you can be yourself. And I love energy like this. So let's see what's going on. Sun and Sagittarius, why is this here? Adventure, stride out into new territory. Where is Leo striding out into? Please show me. And you have the three of wands. There it is. We have the page of wands. There it is. Your communication, your lighthearted energy, that good news, that feeling like you can be yourself. You can be in that energy of, you know, just not having to hide who you, who you are. And I, I really like that. And you also have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Some of you may be communicating with somebody about meeting their family. Could be a friend, could be a lover, could be like, hey, come over, my mom's here, or hey, <laughs> come over, my family's here, or something like that. Definitely could be a strong indication of talking to somebody about meeting family. Some of you, this has to do with family. If there was tension with family, or if there was like a weight around Having better energy with a family member, I definitely see that coming. Three of Wands shows an indication that it's about to come in and it could have been an energy that was had to be waited for. So some of you, it's just time that you and this person meet each other's family or you're just like, well, I think you're a great person. Come meet my family. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic or it could definitely be something in the energy of a much better communication with a family member. I don't know if y'all two were just going at it or there just was a lot of tension and not a lot of love or not a lot of enthusiastic energy, but there's definitely more to that. Some of you, it's just plain and simple. Someone's meeting a family member of yours, <laughs> literally. Um, let's see, Archangel Michael, use this sort of truth to help the world. Some of you may also, sorry, I'm going back to this for one second. Some of you may hear some good news revolving your finances. Um, it could be absolutely around something that you do for work or something in terms of like loans, taxes, things like that. You know, some of you, you may find out that you're getting more money back in taxes than you thought you would. Things like that. Let's see, Archangel Michael, why is this here for Archangel Michael? Use the Sword of Truth for Leo. What's going down? Show me, we have the Fool. Yep, new ways of being, new ways of communicating, new territory. We have the King of Swords. Hello, the King of Swords with that Sword of Truth. And we have the Hermit. 
Beautiful. Okay, Leo, so I definitely feel like there's a cut of tension happening. Whoever you were tense with, whoever the communication was off with, whoever was being cold to you or whatever the case may be, this person or possibly you were being cold to them. There's like some lighthearted energy being restored with somebody. Maybe this person just knows a family member of yours or has met a family member of yours. There could be a connection to there somehow, some way. It doesn't have to be that it's happening now. It could just be that it already happened. But there's something going on here. Leo, there is. There is something going on here. Because now that you have the king of swords to that use your sword of truth, there's a huge emphasis on communication with you here for the weekend. So charge your phone. Charge your phone. You could be getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of messages. You could just be like, whoa, why, why is so many people, like I said, asking me for my opinion, stuff like that. Um, you are so, you're give, it's giving me an energy where you feel really respected by these people around you, or you feel respected by somebody that you thought maybe didn't respect you. You may figure this out through communication, or for some of you, you actually may discover something from a, a talk. Maybe you never knew that this person was upset. Maybe you never knew that this person was waiting on you. Maybe this person, maybe you never knew that this person felt like you were being cold towards them. You know, like there's something being exposed here. Why is this here? The fool, the king of swords and the hermit. Lovers. Chariot. Ace of swords. Hello. Yeah. Somebody's finally ready to say something to you. Or there is just a lot of people coming out of the shadows and wanting to talk to you, Leo. Yeah, huge emphasis on conversations, communications, specifically healing conversations. Or po possibly pretty serious convos, honestly. And I, and I don't feel like it's just with one person. It's with multiple people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so on Chiron Heal... We have the magician. So some of you have manifested this better energy. Some of you wanted to communicate with somebody better. Some of you have been trying to attract in some truth, some track, attract in some clarity on a situation or about a connection with somebody. There is definitely some talks in the work. This is a pretty important time for this conversation. Something's being exposed to you. Why do you have the magician? Three of Pentacles, the Empress. I mean, I'm really not surprised. Three of Pentacles is my energy of reaching out. It's my energy of compromise. Specifically, compromising conversations. So, uh, you know, Leo, I feel like that's your message. And I feel like they're just reiterating it, reiterating it, reiterating it. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes there's a major message that spirit just brings through and there's like, that's it. It's that simple. And, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't need to have like a thousand million things for y'all, you know, sometimes it's like this and that's it. Um, so once again, another energy of family energy as well, and also respected energy. Some of you, you see, or you're hearing, or you're realizing or something exposed to you where you're like, wow, you know, I thought that person maybe just didn't respect me or I thought this person was this way or that way and there's realizations here there's definitely some information being exposed to you through a multitude of people talking to you could be a little bit conversation overload for some of you but I feel like y'all know how to handle it I feel like you are so magnetic and you're so in that energy of expression that you're like, all right, perfect. Let's chit chat and let's talk. Maybe some of you weren't really open to talk to this person. And now you are. But this is what I have here for you, Leo. I also feel like for some of you as well, you could be hearing some good news just randomly. <laughs> Literally just randomly. But that's what I got. Let's see what your love life has in the Oracle here for you, Leo, and see what love is giving you. This definitely could be around love. Could have a healing conversation with a lover. 
Um, it was definitely needed. Whatever this is, it's needed. And it's time and it has to happen now. Or within the time of this weekend or from this weekend. So let's see what your love life is doing here, Leo. And you have yin and yang. You are dark, I am light. When you are strong, I am weak. Yeah, so I feel like this is connected to the energy of, you know, possibly you and this person have different communication styles. Possibly you feel like you're very different from this person. Or maybe some of you Leos feel like you always are connecting to somebody who is different. Not everybody's like us or you or them or they, whomever, you know, like if it was that way, then things would be so boring and there would be like no nothing of anything. Let's see what else you have. You have phases. Sometimes our love goes dark. Sometimes our love shines as bright as the full moon. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of you feel like you're connecting with somebody who's very different from you. And spirit is saying, let the phases of this connection happen. Don't stress them out. You know, let the energy or let the two of you learn how to get through these types of things because that will happen and you have no control over the phases of life and you also have the energy of hypnotize Ooh. oh my god leo your your charm is on a thousand right now you are hypnotizing this person this card ooh says i get lost when i look at you and i don't want to be found Ooh, leo i'm telling you you got somebody turned on and turned up and i almost feel like you the the difference that you do have is very attractive to this person maybe you're smarter than them or maybe they assume you're smarter than them maybe you feel like you're more intuitive maybe you're this or you're that or they're this or they're that. Whatever it is about you, you're just like, mm. you're just like, just undeniable, irresistible. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I love this for you. I really love it. I have like a huge smile on my face. I love this. Clarify this for Leo, please. I also found this really cool picture of a yin yang. I'll show it to you guys after. Um, show me for Leo. What's going down in love? So we have here the three of wands. So possibly you have came to the realization that you know you'll end up connecting to people who are different or that this person is different from you. Let's see phases to the hanged man. Do not get stuck in the phases that seem like things are stuck or not working. Trust me, let the phases happen. And on hypnotize, we have the lovers. Okay, so for some of you, there's definitely a new person coming in. And spirit is saying, let the phases of your romantic life happen. Yes, there was some lonely times. Yes, there was some solitude times. Whatever you have been anticipating needed some mental shift by you to realize that things have ebbs and flows. Not everything is perfect all the time. That's just not how life works. Unfortunately, that's why yin yang is a thing. Balance, light and dark, seeing the light and the dark in each other. Those types of things. Some of you are learning how to do that in romantic relationships very specifically. Um, definitely could be a very strong reconciliation-like energy or a very strong connection here, as well as a connection coming in, if this is indicating a new energy for some of you. Man, you are just like irresistible to this person. Like this person cannot control themselves. Like... And especially, it seems like with the connection to the first spread too, this person just cannot control themselves. Like they have to talk to you. They have to heal with you. They have to feel better about you. Like if this is connecting to love as well. Clarify this for Leo. Three of Wands. Queen of Swords. Hanged Man. Wheel of Fortune. There's the phases. There's the shift. All right, so if your love life has been stuck, stagnant or this connection has been stuck or stagnant no longer 
no longer there's some movement here on the lovers. You have the star healing Chiron wish fulfillment. All right. So for some of you, your love life has been definitely pretty stuck or you felt like this connection was stuck, not moving anywhere, or maybe you're in a relationship and when those ebbs and flows come in and the phases start phasing, you may feel like you get stuck a little bit. It's like you and your relationship is learning how to break free of these phases and still have a beautiful balance with each other. Some of you, your love life is definitely starting to get moving, specifically a connection. So if you have been somewhat dating somebody or seeing someone or talking to somebody, this is definitely a huge movement forward. Like there's like progress with the two of you. Maybe even that interconnects to a family connection too. Maybe the progress is introducing this person to your family or friends or something like that. Um, but I really feel um, whatever stuck like energy you felt in a connection or in your romantic life, it's finally ready to shift. Yeah. Ooh, what a good vibe. Read. There's some good vibes around recently. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So, Leo, in terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could also be around you or in your chart, we have um, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Pisces. Uh, Aquarius. Yeah. So let's get your ending Oracle here for you, Leo. We're going to get it from the seven energies. Haven't used this one in a bit. This is for Leo. Oh, okay. And you have a beautiful uncaging as well. Card number 14. This is weird. Pisces also got this card. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get you another card. There's something going on. There's like a collective energy of like opening up the heart. So a beautiful uncaging. Anything you feel guilty about, anything you feel like maybe you shouldn't have said, maybe should have said differently, should have said better, release it, give it up to the universe. Do not self-criticize yourself. Specifically, possibly in this healing conversation or these energies that you feel like didn't respect you. Do not be in that energy or spirit is guiding you to move out of the energy of self-sabotage and possibly feeling guilty that you should have done or said things differently. Spirit is saying things happen. Keep your heart open and free yourself from any guilt or feelings of self-sabotage. So let's get you one more. There's something in the energy. Oh, hold on. You got a flyer on the ground here. Eh. All right, hold on. I got to get it from this. Side. Let me just move them over. Move them over. Move them over with my foot. Okay. Okay. Now another card. Fold. Put this here. Okay. So you have a tall tail, which is definitely connected to this beautiful uncaging. And you also have quieting the mind. All right. So there is a collective energy right now. There's got to be um, where a lot of us are realizing where our thoughts are very or our brain is very melodramatic, where it likes to make something out of nothing. Some of you are coming into the realization of where this has been happening for you. Maybe you thought that you and this person would never heal. Maybe you thought that you and this person would never shift. Maybe you thought that there would never be any sort of conversation or healing for you in any shape, way, shape, or form. A tall tale spirit is largely indicating that you may actually come face to face with, this may sound harsh, the lies you tell yourself or the lies your brain conditioning tells you. So we're going to actually read this one off, quieting the mind. It wanted to come out too, and two more others ones came out. A Tall Tale is definitely about literally coming to a realization that maybe you were setting yourself up for some things that just did not exist. 
because your mind was um, tricking, tricking you. So quieting the mind here is the one we are going to read off the book. You definitely have three ending oracles, but I ain't going to read three spiels. Sorry, but let's do the quieting the mind because that one wanted to fall out third. So let's see. Card number 32. Here we go. Life is chaotic, busy, loud, frantic, and overwhelming. Some days all of that noise is like a roar of thunder. And it feels like if you're being pummeled by a rainstorm. Isn't that why we take vacations? To get away to somewhere peaceful? In spite of the surrounding din of the world, today you need to slow down and find a bit of peace. So go ahead and take a deep breath right now. Make a commitment to be still for only five minutes. Count your breaths and be mindful of every one of them. Know that you have all the time in the world to do things that need doing. Everything is perfect as is. Our core beliefs about the world originates in our thoughts and feelings, which then become our perceptions. If our thoughts are all over the place, that is how we will experience the outer world. But what if the outer world doesn't matter at all? What if at our center, there were a place that is always calm where the mind doesn't have a million things to say, where problems and challenges aren't at nearly as important as we think they are. Today requires you to take an internal break and go to that silent space within to regroup. Meditate on the stillness within. Choose a peaceful mind and nothing else. You will be amazed by how everything easily falls into place once you do. Wow. Leo... Very connected reading, like very connected. There's some sort of energy right now in, in the vibes of the world. <laughs> I feel it here. So um, thank you, Leo, for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate y'all so, so very much. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not already, and join our Leo family. And ring that bell to all so you are alerted of the new Leo readings that get released. Leo Plus will finish its release this weekend, so um, click that all click, click that button to all, so you are alerted of those ones as well. If you're waiting for a specific zodiac sign, all right, Leo. I love each and every one of you out there. Have a great weekend. Bye now.